So I'm going to show real quickly how uh, this works in MailChimp and then how the URL actually works. So let's start with the URL itself. Um, there's two of them. One's just test and the other one I'll show in a moment. The test can eventually be used for public if wanted to, but basically um, I just have it there because it's a lot easier to read. And all the user has to do is put in uh, three particular things. One is what node types to pull into this feed. All basically results in the three or four um, we spoke about, news, blog, um, and event. Um, but it could be more. Uh, it's one line in the code to change. There could be an admin interface to set this as well. The second thing is the start date um, of the articles, and the third thing is the end date. So they might want to force a range. This is key to prevent um, the feed, if people visit it later in the email, um, when, when it says click here to see uh, this page because it's not showing on your email type of option, they go to the MailChimp web page and it will update it. So by putting these um, dates on it, we can limit it. The other thing too, you're going to see it's going to come in handy having these other options. So let's show all first. So here we see all um, events uh, in that date range. Um, let's see, let's pull in some blog stuff. Or actually some stuff I did yesterday. One moment. I'm going to say start there and go to uh, here even though it's in the future. So now we see a couple blog posts I made and the event posts that are um, going to happen uh, within that date range. So that's a good one. There, there could be a news one for a better example. Um, now this same post, the person might say, well, all I want is event. And they could see just the event. Or they could say, all I want is event uh, plus news. And they would see event and news, but there is no news. Um, I think it's blog. It might be blogs, but... Um, I think they could do that. And then you see the blog entries. So, okay, so that helps them to, uh, in a couple ways in MailChimp, I'll show in a moment. Now, <clears throat> the date thing again is pretty clear, just they have to enter it in that format, and that gives them the start and end range. So, you know, really, um, you know, you basically want to say, show me um, the past 20 days worth of uh, content. So, you would actually mo most likely do something like, um, uh, zero, one, two, eight. Just because I know I made a few yesterday, and and they can quickly say, "Give me a range of content um, of, of stuff produced in that time period." As far as events go, it, it grabs the actual date. Um, as far as nodes and, and blogs go, uh, news and blogs go, it grabs the publication date. With events, it takes a moment to actually look for the d event date. Uh, and some of this formatting can be all set in the Drupal uh, formatting. Okay, so you see that. Now, um, MailChimp will end up using a different URL, and it's just a little harder to show, but this is what it sees. Um, and so it's really basic in MailChimp. Uh, you make your, this is not an RSS campaign, that's a whole different thing, but it will work with this. Um, but <clears throat> you put in your URL um, with these tokens, and for ease of use, you could set up these tokens ahead of time for the client and the template. Um, so the URL is um, a live site I have, so it's a little different. So I'm just going to plug in the URL we were just using. Uh, let's see, and I'll remove it in a moment. Okay, so we're going to plug in something like this, for example. And so what I'm saying here is give me everything from this feed, uh, from those dates. Uh, give me a hundred of them. Just basically give me everything. Uh, and and this is where the style comes in. When you see the title, uh, make it H2 or 3, whatever that one is. When you see the content, give it a gray text. And when you see the URL, turn it into a URL. Um, this was the only tricky one. And this is all just the basic MailChimp um, uh, settings. So I said read more. And this is kind of odd that it does that, but basically all I did... Um, this doesn't really have to do with the feed as much as uh, learning how to use MailChimp's uh, tokens. Um, <clears throat> and so again, I'm just saying, um, give me the feed URL uh, as the URL and give it a title, read more. Um, 
and uh, then you end this particular item. Um, again, this this the client should need to know, but it's how you basically say I'm pulling in this feed, and for every block of data uh, uh, items, for every item, which is basically title, uh, body, link, do something with it, and, and you're outputting these fields one, two, three, and then you're ending that chunk, and then you're ending eventually the block. Uh, so I could put a, a spacing on the top as well. And so that will then repeat for every item in this feed. But the nice thing too is I could actually say, um, I can actually do this. And this is why this URL thing is going to be nice. I can actually say, okay, this one will be events. Sorry, I think it's event uh, singular. This one will be blog. And then the last one could be new. So you can, for some reason, put them in different parts or of the um, newsletter news and then they would show up in three different areas or in three different ways uh, and that you know and you could put in other things you could say um, you know right here uh, our news and you just know that will show up above uh, let's see that wouldn't be the best way you would want to actually use sorry yeah. okay anyway it's just basic uh, MailChimp editing okay so and that's how you can section off things now I have some sections in the feeds themselves so you get that effect but it's just a little bit more clean that way so that's about it then when you go to send it um, it just pulls them into the email um, Let's show an example. All right, so we're out of edit mode, and I say uh, open and pop up, and then it takes a moment. And we see, um, besides this little flaw here, which was in the code, which is now gone, uh, we see the sub, the category events, the title, uh, the date, uh, and then the the particular content in the node, and a link to the node. Um, so, in in this case, um, this test feed only had events, but again, if it was news, it would have then gone and said news and broken down to that level as well. Uh, and, and so you could alter the particular output here and as format-wise, so you could have made this title less big uh, and so forth.